Liz Lee, activist lizard. <laughs> they don't give a shit about the law, do they? They never do. You can tell where the scumbag terrorist cops are by, it's usually in the poor areas and downtown. We got a lot of them. There's a whole list of them. Yeah, man. They don't give a shit about the press. As long as, unless you're Fox News or someone with money, right? Or cops, the program. They go and get right next to them. They got, I, I film them. I got lots of film of that. I'm the last person they want to mess with. So they don't, they told me I could walk over there. They told me I could walk over there and then told me I could be over here. He made me move like five or six different times just to be a bully. And I, I'm willing to take him to court. I'm willing to be arrested for my rights. And you should be too. All the American people should be willing to be arrested for their rights. Or you don't have any rights at all. So I wonder what they're trying to hide. There must be something they're trying to hide. Did they beat somebody up? Oh, because I got a guy with the arm cuff from the EMS and he's also in cuffs. Usually when I see that, it means the cops did police brutality. I got a video online at downtown, a guy, black guy, Mexican girlfriend, white friend, all three. They're at Moose Knuckle. The, the, bar, the barbacks give him a hard, hard time and beat him up. And then they call the cops. The cops kick in his face. He's bleeding down. The black guy, bleeding down his face. They got him in cuffs for 30 minutes, and they don't give any care. And then EMS comes. When the cops beat you up, they'll get call EMS. Yeah, well, you know, they're getting paid. It's not like they got a, a schedule. So the longer they can make it drag out, you know, the less work they have to do later on other stops. It's really corrupt, the whole thing. We don't really need cops. The police annual budget in Austin is $374 million. Not much. And then they never have money for the, for the poor schools. They don't have money for the poor streets. But they got money for this. So I think they need to reappropriate their money and their resources. Right now, city council's talking about the budget. And they don't want to talk to me. Here's their budget right here. I do not like being harassed by cops. Every cop in this town knows that shit. I'll talk to a supervisor. Good. I lose my temper a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they were doing. He told me to move five times. I kept backing up. I said, back up again, back up. I said, now what? He told me to come way over here for no damn reason other than they want to hide. Now, I'm like, now I got to talk to his damn supervisor and his damn supervisor is going to act stupid about the law. It's all a cover-up. Well, I don't respect any law if they don't follow it. There is no law. They can't follow the law. They can't arrest anybody as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> There will be a day soon where there will be a reckoning and all these cops will be police, the targets of the people. They'll all be sitting in a jail cell without wa food and water, televised. The American people are sick of this shit, especially the poor. I know, because of Dallas, and that was a merc, that was the government that did that. The government doesn't like their own cops. The government puts them out. They're all just going to be the ones that get taken out first, and the government will bring in UN troops, federal troops. So these guys are all disposable. They just they think they're serving their master, and their master doesn't care. But they all swore an oath to the Constitution and the people. So when they do this kind of stuff, they violate their oath, and that's treason. I don't know, man. I just got here. I don't know the cops don't want me getting any closer than this. These guys are able to walk through. Everybody's about to walk through than me. I don't like that. I want to talk to a supervisor. I want to talk to a supervisor, right? Fucking now. 
time now is 10.30. It's September 9th, 2016, Friday. I'm on my way downtown. I'm gonna go have a fun time. Party down with the criminals in blue. So according to the law, according to the Glick case law, um, 10 feet is is sufficient for filming the police taking pictures of handcuff injuries probably I really like it when they don't engage me and they're they're polite and they're professional I don't really like the opposite is which like what I see to here where they just make up arbitrary distances and try to threaten you get in your face and intimidate you as if they got something some kind of law that they are the only ones that know but they don't even know the law they don't care about the law they don't care about the policy they don't care about professionalism they don't care about the people the constitution they don't care about anything which is why they're traitors so just try to do better than that I need to speak to a supervisor ma'am officer thank you and I'll need an incident number two and 10 feet sufficient by the law. I don't really care what y'all say. So we gotta start standing up for our rights and using the law. So right now I'm about 30 feet away from the stop, which is not the law. So it takes this many cops to stand around and do nothing, and they don't have time to, to engage anybody in conversation they have time to threaten you to intimidate people for filming but they don't have time to give you an incident number or tell you who their supervisor is or discuss the law they don't want to be bothered but they do want to bother you so those are contradictory things if you don't have time then what are you doing you better make some damn time pictures of the handcuffs they took pictures of the handcuffs on both these people. Or maybe they're looking at their knuckles. Apparently there might have been a fight. That cop right there is a shithead. Put that little fucker on report. I don't like bad cops. I'm gonna find out every bad cop in this town and make a freaking website about them. Big time. Or this stuff will continue. Until we get serious about community policing and police accountability, this will continue every day. Random targeting, multiple units coming out. Uh, there's EMS here, but they're not treating anybody, it appears like. It's mostly a police state exercise. Trying to pick good cop, trying to interrogate using a good cop technique. Don't talk to cops. Cops suck. Use your Fifth Amendment right. Exercise all your rights. Refuse any kind of contact with police officers. They're terrorist scumbags, and this is what they do for a living because they can't get a real fucking job. So that guy's closer than me. All these pedestrians have been closer to me, but they're not holding the camera out, so they don't intimidate the cops like I do. A transparency scares bad cops, makes them aggressive, makes them bully. They try to talk about weapons. They are a weapon. Police are a lethal weapon against the people that is used by the state to oppress people and keep the prison state in check. Make sure that the prison state has lots of people to abuse, that we create the new type of slavery. It's called the prison state. It was enacted in the 13th Amendment, apparently. From what I learned today, I haven't really read it, but uh, yeah, the, uh, it's outside the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights is the first 10 amendments to the Constitution, starting with the freedom of speech, religion, and press. That's the first amendment. The second amendment is the right to bear arms, including the right to bear arms that can defend yourself against the government. I don't really know what the third amendment is. Fourth amendment is the right to be secure in your, your effects 
and to not consent to a search without a warrant that specifically lists what they're looking for and talks to witnesses and everything else signed by a judge, not rubber stamped. In Texas, they rubber stamp and that's like unconstitutional and all the, all the judges that rubber stamp and all the clerks and all the, all the police that serve those warrants should all be put in prison for their crimes because that's a high crime against the Constitution and it's a lot, a lot bigger than any kind of petty crime, any kind of petty assault, any kind of petty theft, any kind of petty speeding ticket, DWI, all of that. Constitutional crimes are high crimes and there shouldn't be any kind of enforcement of any kind of law until we can start getting control of our police officers. These are our employees. These aren't some people that rule over us and dominate us. These are our employees. And if they can't act like our employees, then they can get a job at Taco Bell. Maybe they can learn a little bit about respect there, because they don't have any respect for the civilians right now. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.